Hello everyone, today I'm going to demo how to do mini assignment one, the typography challenge. So I have opened up Photoshop here and I'm going to create a new document from the print size. I'm going to do the letter preset and I'm actually going to change it from portrait to landscape. Then I'm going to go to create and now I have my new canvas. Some of you guys, this is going to be your first time opening up Photoshop, and that's fine. So we're going to take things a little bit slow, a little bit simple, um, just using kind of basic shape tools and text tool and our move tool. Uh, keep in mind for this project, you're going to create six unique and interesting designs only using your init initials. Uh, keep in mind the different gestalt principles we've talked about and kind of examining the positive and negative space and balance and unity and all of those great things that we've been talking about in the basics lecture. Um, like I said, you guys did not have to do this in Photoshop, but I extremely encourage it if you've never used Photoshop before. Um, you just need to follow my simple rules, which are use as many colors, fonts as you'd like. Not many colors, but as many fonts as you like, and you can only use two colors. I'm just gonna stick with um, maybe gray and black or black and white and just kind of keep things simple. Um, but feel free to get a little bit more creative with your colors. Um, I might as well, we'll see. Um, all designs need to be about the same size, kind of in a square and contained to one page. That's why I'm starting here on the letter size page. And then you guys would leave me a comment that tells me the letters and the fonts used. Um, and I will show you how to get that as well. You will be submitting it as a JPEG. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to my horizontal type tool or shortcut T. When I click that, you'll see here up at the top toolbar, I have it set to Helvetica, regular, you can set it to bold, light, whatever you'd like point font and then all the way over here is the color it, right now it's set to white because um, that's what I used last but I'm actually going to set it to a I'm gonna go to web color so I get like a pure black so now we should be able to see it when I start typing and I'm gonna go ahead and type my initials I'm gonna type in M D so I'm going to highlight those, and if you come right here, it looks kind of like a folder with a tab at the very top. It lets you open up the character panel. This is where you're going to be able to access the kerning, the tracking, the letting. Remember the kerning being the space between two specific letters, which is right here, the V and the A. The tracking is going to be for overall, all the letters. The space between and then the letting is going to be right here the a on top of the a and that's going to be like your line spacing so here i'm actually going to use the letting not letting excuse me tracking i'm going to bring them really close let's do negative 50 let's let's get these to touch a little bit might need to go a little bit more so i'm going to type in negative 200. There we go. So I'm going to use these double arrows to collapse that panel. I'm actually going to move it from regular to bold. Get a really bold look. I'm going to check mark. Everything looks good. And now it is pretty small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the very, very top of my toolbar. It's called the move tool with the shortcut of V on your keyboard. Um, with that selected, you should get the transform controls. If you don't, it's this checkbox right here. You'll see mine's checked. If you don't see it, it would be unchecked like that. So once you check it, you'd see the little transform controls. You can hold shift oops, and scale things. So I'll scale it up pretty big, put it up here in the top corner. Looks good. Press the check mark. And now I kind of have my first design experimenting with kind of putting two different letters together. So maybe to keep things organized, we can use our shape tool 
to create squares to make sure that we do get the six designs and nice and big on and organized on the page. So to do that, I'm actually going to come down. Some people's might be defaulted to the ellipse tool, the rectangle tool. So it would look like this, but right towards the bottom of your toolbar, you're going to see all of your shape tools and you click and hold to be able to access them. The shortcut is U, um, the letter U on your keyboard. So I'm actually going to go right for my line tool and I'm going to click and I'm going to draw three equal lines, three equal segments throughout this so I can kind of have it divided nice and easy up into a grid. I'm going to divide this one right in half. So I can actually come to my move tool. It looks like I might need to move this line down a little bit. And I'm actually using my arrow keys to kind of nudge it down. So now you can see over here, this is called our layers panel. Your layers panel is starting to get some stuff, right? So you've got shape three which is right on top of everything. And it's that middle dividing line. Your shape two and shape one are all gonna be these lines. Your MD right here that says MD, but it has the T, that's my first text box. I'm actually going to, with my move tool selected, scale this just a little bit more, to fill up my nice square or rectangle, I guess they're not perfectly square, but that's okay. Um, so next I'm gonna go for another design. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two different text inputs. So here I'm going to click, I'll type the M, make the check mark, and then I'm gonna make another layer that has the D and check that box. So now you can see here I've got two separate layers, the one for the M and the one for the D. So I'm going to select the one with the M, come to my Move tool, and I'm going to scale it. Scale it up a little bit. Press the check mark. Come back over to my D. And scale it as well. Maybe kind of make an interesting design here, kind of thinking about those different principles that we've talked about. Let me see. Scale that about the same size. So for this mini assignment one, you're pretty much just kind of experimenting with creating text, moving text around. And then if you wanted to create an interesting background behind these, you can actually come over here to your rectangle tool. Go up to the corner of either one you're going to do. I'm going to actually go for a blank one that we haven't done yet. Click and drag. Um, sometimes your properties panel will open up. If not, you'll see right up here at the top toolbar, you'll have your fill, the stroke, the stroke weight, the stroke options so you can have a dotted line which way you want the stroke to align if the inside on the line or on the outside um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn off the stroke and I'm going to click the box here for the fill you can do a whole bunch of different things here you can do solid color fills you can come to your color picker you can turn off the web colors pick a color if you found a hex code for a color scheme, this is where you would put it here. Or if you're interested in adding any kind of gradients, this is here for you as well. So I'm just gonna do this solid color dark blue. Come here to my type tool. So if you start running into this issue, where you start typing and it 
stays kind of constrained to the shape, that is okay. If not, you can just say no, which is the circle with the line through it. Click down below and type and then drag it into your square. So I'm going to just type an M and I'm actually going to change this font. We're going to kind of step away from Helvetica. I think that we're going to try, let's try something fun. I'll try Boulevard and we'll see if we can set it. It's only regular. Increase the point size. Ooh, it lets us have a little bit of fun swirls and serifs. I'm going to actually change it to white. Go to my move tool and move it up into my box. Scale things around. You know what, and this might actually make a kind of interesting design. So I'm going to actually click this layer, go up to layer, duplicate layer, it'll say M copy. I'm going to come to the corner, click and rotate. And this is with the move tool selected. Maybe come up with a couple different designs that are interesting. Oops, and it's hard to see the D because it's in white, but we'll move it with our move tool. And just play around a little bit. Um, you can actually come up to, I duplicated this, I have a shortcut. If you hold Option or Alt, click and drag a layer up, it'll duplicate it. And you can actually, if you do it too much, can go right here to the little trash can at the bottom of your layers panel and delete that layer. So I'm going to go to the D copy and go to edit, transform, and we want to flip vertical. And it's kind of creating a really kind of interesting, cool, crazy design. So for this mini assignment one, I just want you exploring, getting text, putting down some shapes, making some colors, changing the colors, and just messing around with different um, tools that are available to you and getting familiar with moving, changing the color, making shapes, and adding text. When you're all done, what you'll do is you'll go up to the top and go to File, Save As, Assignment, one dot under Davis. Make sure you set it to JPEG. Save. You can probably I'll default to eight or nine. And press OK. And then that is what you would submit is that final JPEG of all of your designs.